She is the Batwoman, Gotham City's newest protector, and battling her at every turn of her still young crime-fighting career is a crazed-out cult called the Religion of Crime, led by a Lewis Carroll-quoting Madwoman known only as Alice. They plan to turn Gotham City into a wonderland of carnage. Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. This time I'm reviewing another bad title, it's Batwoman from Greg Rocca and J.H. Williams III. Guys, uh, with so many books to read and review and all that stuff, uh, some of them just fall through the cracks and I completely forget to read them. So it took me way too long to read this interesting, awesome piece of comic book literature that I am just gushing over. It is fantastic, it is super awesome, and I implore you to please check it out. I know I'm so late to the party, the character of Batwoman, for many years. If you ask mainstream DC fans, or mainstream Batman fans, I guess, yeah, they're gonna love Batman, and then they're gonna go, and well, I like one of the Robins, and Batgirl's okay, and that's about it. Always, uh, almost always, Batwoman is pushed aside for some reason, but if you dig a little deeper, you're gonna find one of the most beautiful, complex, and just badass characters in the DC Universe, or in any comic book universe, because Kathy Kane is fantastic. The character is super awesome, and Greg Rucka really does a good job of giving you an origin story within these seven, eight, uh, seven issues and you don't feel like you've lost anything. Now, uh, be warned though, some of the details regarding the uh, religion of crime, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, they're after the character of Batwoman, Kathy Kane, because she is twice uh, the descendant of Kane or something like that. It's weird, it's funky, but if you wanna read like the full backstory and all that stuff as to why this is happening, you're gonna have to go back to the 52 series that happened right after Infinite Crisis back in, I'm going to say, 2006, 7, something like that. It was 52 issues of awesomeness. You just got to know that Batwoman, at least this version, debuted in the 52 series. You might be a little bit, a tiny little bit lost, but don't worry, the book does a fantastic job for new readers. Actually, I, I would wholeheartedly recommend it. If you've never read it, go ahead and pick it up because you're getting a fantastic character that isn't afraid to speak her mind, that is confident in her abilities and wants to be a positive change and wants to do good regardless of being a flawed character because she does have her flaws like anybody else but that doesn't deter her from doing what's right and wanting uh, to prevail in the face of adversity especially with that fantastic origin story that we're given in this book now uh, Rucka did seven uh, I should say six issues where you have this battle between Alice, the leader of the religion of crime, if you will. She's very uh, Lewis Carroll inspired, similar to a character like Mad Hatter. And you got Batwoman that is really uh, just fierce and determined to do what's right. Now, these two characters clash in a very interesting way and it is accentuated and highlighted by the amazing beautiful, gorgeous art of J.H. Williams III. It is just breathtaking. Some of the best paneling, colors, and just drawings in any comic book that you're gonna find. You're gonna see it in Batwoman Elegy and of course their new 52 series and all that stuff. J.H. does a fabulous job. I cannot praise this art enough. It's beautiful. Now, uh, one of the things I did not like about the book, and it's very minor, is the fact that because new readers are going to be a little bit lost, uh, the villains are going to seem a little bit too cliche or a little bit too shallow by the end of it. There is a revelation towards the end of the book that um, corresponds to something earlier or vice versa where I was like, okay, this is really cool what you're doing, Greg, but to me, or at least just to me, it all seems a little bit uh, disconnected simply because when the main fighting uh, ends, 
yeah, you get some hints towards it, but I don't. I didn't really see the connection right away. It's not until I reread the story where I picked up on some things. Again, that's just me. Some other people, other people might just read the book and be like, "Oh, this is genius." But regardless, you're gonna have a fun time. Action-packed, great story, great visuals, a character that is severely underrated. The character of Kathy Kane is gorgeous, she's beautiful, and she's a character that in the face of adversity she will rise up and do what's right. And she has a great moral compass with a great family dynamic. It's very dysfunctional but at the same time righteous and awesome and badass. I love the fact that she's uh, getting help from her old dad uh, with this pseudo bat woman cave if you will. The costume has always has always looked fantastic, and just I I I am I'm a fan. I wasn't a fan before, and that but that was simply because I hadn't read enough of the character. But with this book, Batwoman Elegy, I can wholeheartedly say Batwoman is easily one of my favorite DC superheroes. She is that amazing, and I love her interaction with Batman and how she comes to the whole crime fighting. Uh, aspect of Gotham City and all that. That was really cool. Actually, I should point this out. Her origin story within the book is a million times better than the actual stuff that is going on with Alice and the rest of the villains and all that stuff and the crazy cuckoo people. It, it was really good. I was just blown away by the awesomeness and Greg Rucka uh, just killed it in my opinion. You know in the book there is a very powerful scene and it is one that resonated with me and still does after I read the story and I won't go into detail but it is with uh, it has to do I should say with Kathy's uh, origin. She tells him that the colonel informed her that she was under investigation for violating article yada yada and uh, she couldn't say what uh, he needed to hear. Uh, his father knows immediately that's uh, article, what was it, 125, that's uh, homosexual conduct he says and she replies, yes sir, why couldn't you tell him he needed what he needed to hear? And she says, I had been lying. Which he responds, which is my favorite part of the book, and you kept your honor and your integrity and I am proud of you. Your mother would have been too. That to me exemplifies and gives you a epic sense of the righteousness of Kathy Kane. Even though she later goes into troubled water and all that stuff and does a bunch of weird stuff. She's still true to herself and she's honest about it and wants to do right. And at least to me that was the most inspirational part of the book and why I recommend it. And uh, yeah, it's just solid writing. A really fun read if you want to pick up something that's not exactly uh, your typical Batman Superman book and you want to read something else but within the same stuff, then yeah, Batwoman Elegy is the right book for you. I hope I have convinced you. Maybe. I don't know. Let me know down below. What's your favorite Batwoman story? I'm very interested in finding out. As always, guys, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing so we can geek them. And, uh, what else? Oh yeah, you can find me on your favorite social media platform. Just type a we can geek them and I'm there for you. Alright, I have got to go. If you want me to continue the Batwoman stuff, I will try and get the New 52 trades because I've only read like one or two issues of that. And I'm very interested in, 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 in continuing that journey, even though I know about the whole dilemma I remember when it was cancelled for some stupid reason uh, just you know it, it, it's, it's just sucks but uh, if you're interested let me know and I'll do more videos on the character of Kathy Kane we going tech, 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 tech. Hi Jake <clears throat> <clears throat> by the beautiful gorgeous art